In this video I'm gonna teach you how to make this pixelation effect in After Effects. You can download this project file in the description down below. I already have my logo here and I am going to make the effect on this logo. The first thing we're going to make is to add a mat that will reveal this logo with that pixel effect. So let's create a solid layer with Ctrl Y and let's call this mats. It can be any color. Hit OK. And now let's add the effect linear wipe to this solid layer. And this is basically to reveal the layer. So first let's animate this transition completion. Make a keyframe here, press U to see that keyframe. And we're going to move this when before it touches the logo. So I'm gonna place it like over here. Now move forward like a second or two. And let's move this after the logo, like here. Now let's grab both of these keyframes and exist them with F9. Also, let's grab the last keyframe, go here to the graph editor, make sure you are on the speed graph to see the graph like this, grab this last keyframe and move this handle all the way to 100%. This is to make the reveal to be smoother, you can see it there. And we can add a little margin if we want to change the angle, like something like over here. So I'm gonna increase here at the end and also at the beginning, like this. Okay, now we have to break this line because it's too perfect, so let's add the effect turbulent this place. And to make the line to have like more little details, we're going to increase the complexity all the way to 10. And now let's increase the amount to 100. Also let's decrease the size to only 50. There you go. Now to add that pixel effect, let's add the effect mosaic. There you have it. And now you can see it's like pixelated. And if we increase this, the pixels are like smaller. So we're going to set the horizontal blocks to 50. And to make the pixels to be perfectly square, we have to make the vertical blocks to be the half of the horizontal blocks. So here at the top I set 50. And at the bottom I'm gonna set 25. And now you can see there are squares. Okay, so here we have this done. If you want to make the pixels bigger or smaller, you can change these values. And also if you want to make the transition line to be wider, you have to increase the amount. And if you want it to be thinner, you have to decrease it. And it will be something more like this. Where do we have this done? It's time to use it as a mat. And if you don't see this track mat panel, you have to toggle switches here and you will see it here. Now select your elements and grab the track mat pick whip and select the mats. Invert the mats by clicking here and now you will see this. So we already have this mat done. And to make this effect to be more dynamic, we are going to animate the evolution of the turbulent displays. So I'll click the evolution stopwatch and let's type a simple expression. Time asterisk. 250. You can increase this value or decrease it as you like. Now select both layers and let's pre-compose this by pressing Ctrl Shift C. Let's call this pixelation, hit OK. And now to only see this pixelation, we have to duplicate this layer. And we'll make this layer to use this same layer as a mat but offset in time. But this time we are not using this track mat because for this effect it doesn't work really well. This layer at the top we are just going to use it as a mat. So let's rename this to mat. Now select the layer at the bottom and let's add the effect set mat. Here we have to select the mat layer and click here in invert mat. Now let's hide the mat layer and you will see this. You can see now like the edges. And if we offset the mat layer in the timeline, like moving these two frames forward, you will see the pixelation is like more visible now. But now you can see here the edges of the layer are now visible. So to get rid of that, go to the pixelation layer and let's add the effect minimax. And here for operation select minimum and now increase the radius until it disappear. 
something between three or, or five should fix this problem. Now we already have this transition done, but you can see the logo just completely disappear. So we are going to duplicate the pixelation layer. So press Ctrl D and select the layer at the bottom and delete all the effects. Also, let's rename this as something like original or logo because this will be the logo that will stay now we have something like this and now to have a much cooler look we are going to add the effect cc glass to the pixelation layer so let's add cc glass go here to surface and here instead of lightness you should select alpha so it's looking at the alpha and now let's set the next values for softness we are going to decrease it to 3 and for height we are going to increase it to 100. You can change these values as you want but this is the look I like it. Now let's see how it looks. Ok, pretty nice. And now it's time to add some color. So you can simply add a fill effect and here you can add the color you want. Or to have more colors we are going to add the effect colorama and let's go here to the first option input face open it and here where it says add face select the same layer the pixelation layer and now go to modify and uncheck this modify alpha option and now you will see the alpha is back to normal and we already have something like this we are almost done if you want to change these colors you can change it by moving the face shift you can see it here or by going to the output cycle and you can use one of these presets or directly modifying the colors here. Ok, now we have this and the last thing to add is a little glow to the pixelation effect and you can just simply add a glow effect but I'm going to use my preset that you can download for free in the description. The preset better glow, there you have it. And I'm going to increase the opacity to 75 and that will be everything. And now let's see the final result. If you want to change the duration of this effect or the angle, you have to open any of these compositions and just change here the wipe angle or just change the keyframes. If this was helpful for you, consider liking and subscribing. If you're starting in motion graphics, want to improve fast and build a solid portfolio, join Animation Essentials in the link in the description.